Hello, this is Jill from Paper Daisy Crafting. Thank you for joining me today. Welcome to my blog, um, or to my YouTube channel, rather. Um, for the last few days, I've been showcasing the family party stamp set. I've said on previous videos, I think this is a bit neglected, this set. I loved it when it first came out, but I actually still haven't used it as much as I thought I might. Um, so I thought it deserved a bit of love just before we lose it, because it will be retiring on the 3rd of May. It is, I've just checked, it is still available at the moment when I'm recording this, but it is on a Wild Stocks last basis only. So if you wanted it, you do need to get it, um, because it could well sell out. Especially as I'm doing all this promotion, and I've already sold a couple of sets, so since I've been showcasing it, so... Um, get in there quick. It's a great set. Um, it's not reduced at the moment, sadly. It's twenty pounds, but you do get you get thirty six stamps here. It's telling me. Yeah, 36 stamps. So it's very good value for money for £20. less than a pound a stamp. I know some of them are quite small. But these ones, these little um, ones are very useful for, um, for number birthday cards. And if you've got the numbers and all these greetings and all these relations. So really, really useful. So I'm going to show you how I made this card. I posted this on my blog on Saturday night, Sunday morning um on the 11th of april if you want to go back and see that the link will be below so you can click straight to there so let's get on so i've used um our dsp stack this is also re retiring um this is our family stacks the subtles um i'm going to use a different one from the subtles today i'm going to use um highland heather i'm going to do a lilac one today so i'm using highland heather Again, this paper is very, very useful if you wanted to get hold of some of that before it retires. Right, okay, I'm starting off with the card blank. Half a sheet of A4. It measures 15 centimetres by 21. And I'm just looking for my trimmer. I can't find, there it is. Um, and I'm going to score this at 10 and a half. So my card blank will end up being 15 centimetres by 10 and a half. while I've got my trimmer out I'm just going to trim my piece of DSP so my card blank is ten and a half across so I'm going to trim this to nine and a half so I'm going to have quite a big ball um actually no I'm not I'm going to do it to nine seven I'm going to score it to nine seven so it's 0.8 smaller than the, the last one so that will give me it should be a four centimeter yeah that's quite nice four centimetre board around there and then this way this was 15 so if I give it a four centimetre it needs to be 14 two line that up so like so let's take those that's all we need for the moment and let's take my bone folder line that up give that a nice hard push with my bone folder there we go would be one of my must-have tools my bone folder if i was had to go and craft on a desert island would definitely need to take my bone folder yep and that's going to go there and you can see i've got a nice same width border all the way around i'm just going to push down the lip so as you trim this you get a little bit of a lip um, from the trimmer as it pushes the paper as the blade runs along it just taking that out and then I'm just going to glue that down right from the start and that's going to be the background for our card take my Tombow I've just got a piece of damp cotton wool in the bottom of my jar there which means that if I put my Tombow nib down it will keep it damp and so it won't um, dry out and the glue will always be in the nib where I want it so it'll always work um, so that's just my little tips, just a jar. It was a little jar of preserves that came with an afternoon tea one day that I nicked from the hotel where we had the afternoon tea. Um, but it's a very useful little jar, so anything like that would do um, to sit your Tombow in. I know a lot of people do make the Tombow stands with cardstock, but the trouble is with cardstock, you can't have a damp piece of cotton wool in the bottom. Um, and it does only have to be damp, just damp enough to not, not let the nib um, the end of it dry out so that it's always ready to use um, which I find when I'm doing a big crafting session I find that very useful right there we go so a nice border all the way around there now we need to do our sentiments um, um, panel 
So I've got a piece of cardstock here. It's a little bit smaller than this one, but I think it's I've just it just happens to be a piece I've got. So it's, it's deeper, but not quite as wide. But I think it will be all right. Actually, no, I'm going to I'm going to get a new piece. Stop being so mean, Jill. Just because I want it to be wide enough um, to put. Um, three parcels across and that might be a bit tight on that one right so I've got a scrap of cardstock here so I am going to start with happy so I'm working with three colors today I'm working with Mel Mambo Coastal Cabana and Highland Heather so just Still got my old style melon mambo. Haven't needed to replace that yet. Still got quite a lot of old style um, stamp sets. If you're new to crafting, you won't know that we had a different style of stamp set for a while. And I'm still using mine because they're still going strong. Must have had the new ones three years, I would have thought. And actually, I haven't had to um, re-ink hardly any of them yet. Right, so today we're gonna make a 25th birthday for Nice. Um, so we're going to use another one of the sentiments. So I'm starting off with Coastal Cabana. I'm going to do it. So I'm going to cut this down when I've when I've stamped. So let's put that there. Let me just see. Is that going to be in the right place? Mm, I'm going to do it a bit further over. I think I'm going to do it a bit further over to give me a bit more room. That's the wonderful thing about cardstock is there's two sides. So if you do it wrong on one side, you've got another side to use. Right, I'm going to use Highland Heather for my 25th. So I've mounted, can you see there, I've mounted the 2 and the 5 and the TH on there. Um, some of the numbers are slightly different size, which I don't really understand the reasoning for that. But I don't, I've got to used to them now. Don't mind that too much. There we go, 25th. Then we need birthday. I was make, using these stamps on a um, fa Facebook Live video at the weekend and I've lost the stamp that says mother. I've got no idea what I've done with it. So I don't know whether I'll just have to write that down to experience or whether it will turn up. I've searched everywhere I can think of and cannot find it. Right, happy 25th birthday. And then I'm going to do two a wonderful. Could leave the two, to the wonderful off if you wanted to. Maybe your niece isn't wonderful. <laughs> sure, they all are. Um, and then in Highland Heather, I have a lot of nieces actually. I have six nieces. We seem to be a very girl orientated family in our family. My parents had two girls and a boy. I've had two girls and a boy. My brother has three girls. My sister has a girl and a boy, and my husband's sister has two girls and a boy. So we have a lot more girls and boys, a lot more nieces than nephews, which actually is a good thing because, um, oh, I'm putting these away, I'm gonna need these again in a minute, um, because actually I'm much better at girls than I am at boys, to be honest. Right, okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do the three little parcels. So we're gonna print stamp parcels down here and then we're going to stamp them again on a on a spare piece of card and I'm going to cut them out and mount them on dimensionals. So now I need to remember what I'm doing because I can't do this and talk at the same time. So what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to draw a line where I want these to line up. Let me see how far down they want to go. About there maybe. And then I'm going to see where the middle of this is, so about there. So about there is the middle. And then I'm going to measure two and a half centimetres. This is going to be the middle of the bow on the dotty and the bow set. That's where that's going to go. And that's going to space my parcels apart nicely. So taking the bow and the dotty stamp, I'm going to do Heather. Highland Heather in the middle. Right, excuse me if I have to get my head over here, but I need to be able to see where I'm putting this. Hope that's in the right place. And then I need to clean that off. Still got my stamp and scrub out here, which I've just 
discovered again. I haven't used it for ages, but I've just discovered it and it's great. As long as I've got space on my table for it, it does take up quite a lot of space. Right, on the other side, I'm gonna do Coastal Cabana. So again, I need to line that up. Try and get that in line. Yeah, not bad. And clean it again. And do Melon Mambo. Some reason it's easier to see the Helen, the melon mambo. There we go. There's our three um, parcels. I don't know that one doesn't look quite as far apart, but anyway, I'm going with it. Right, I'm then going to take the um, the the square bit of the parcel. I'm going to stamp on my stamp pad, stamp off, and then stamp over the coordinating colour, and then clean. I'm going to stamp Highland Heather and then stamp over the coordinating parcel. I love this stamp. I love this little parcel. I think it's great. And then clean again and Highland Heather. And stamp. Oh, they're not badly in line. I didn't think they were. They didn't look as if they were going to be in. They were going to be wrongly spaced. Right now, then we've just got to do. Oh, I stamped that one in full strength. Oh, doesn't matter. I think that's. Well, I think that's. I've got away with it actually. Um, okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to my spotty stamp and bow, and I'm going to stamp one of them in each colour at full strength. And I've been doing these cards. There's just been one occasion where I've forgotten every time. One, one occasion where I've forgotten to do the stamping off and I've stamped in full strength. Um, and I think it's partly because I can't do it while I'm talking. I have to mean, be concentrating. So Coastal Cabana, stamp off. And over here, we're going to cut these little squares out in a minute. Right, clean it. Stamp it. Mel Mambo, stamp it off. And it's such a great technique for getting tone on tone, this stamping off. There we go. And clean it. Highland Heather. Stamp it off. And stamp. There we go. Right. We've finished with all our inks now. Did you, I wonder if you'd noticed this stamp set in the catalogue before. Um, like I say, I quite like stamp sets with lots of words and things, so I, I was drawn to it immediately. But then I didn't use it as much as I thought I would, so I don't know what that was all about. I think because I just had, I bought so much from the, the annual catalogue last year that I didn't really have time to use everything. Oh, now my snips have gone missing. What is happening today? My snips are obviously with my mother stamp. I've got no idea where they are now. Hey, hey, ho, oh, that's not. They're my ribbon scissors. Can't use those. Oh, I'll use my big scissors. What have I done with them? Honestly, I just seem to have lost loads of things today. Right, so I'm just cutting out the squares. Not with the ribbon. The ribbon is going to show through from the bottom. So that's my, so that won't matter that I did that dark because that's now going on there. Uh, it just gives a little bit of dimension to the card. Very easy fussy cutting this because they're just straight lines. So it's not complicated fussy cutting. That one's going on there. And then this one. Obviously didn't line this one up quite good enough because I've got a dot that's hanging on the edge, but that won't matter. So cut that little dot off and that will go on there. And then I just need some dimensionals. I'm going to use the big dimensionals and I'm just going to use one in the middle of each of these. There we are. Find the tweezers. There we go. So the one there. One there. And one there. Actually, I'm not going to stick these on for the moment, though, because I want to cut this, this sentiment panel down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rub out my line, first of all, my pencil line. 
just so that that's not showing i use a bic mechanical pencil they're cheap as <laughs> chips um but they have really good rubbers on the end good erasers um and always a sharp pencil to use and i use my a lot for measuring and marking cardstock and things right okay so we are now going to cut this down um i'll do it on the big trimmer i would normally use my little cutter but unfortunately that's not available for you so i'll show you how i do it on here so i'm just going to go this way first of all and i'm going to cut um just going to move that over a little bit yeah about there i think and i'm just doing this by eye Normally I do, so like with the with sorting out the parcels, I do try, try and do that quite accurately. But when I'm cutting panels like this, I tend to try and do it by eye. There we go. And about there. And I've got a little bit of smudge of pink ink, and I'm going to show you what I'll do about that as well in a sec. And I'm just going to cut a little smidgen off the top here. like so there you go that's my panel so that's mounting onto here still quite wide actually I might trim a little bit more off the sides um, without going into the parcels just to make that a little bit thinner because I've got to get a mat at the back of this as well don't forget there we go nice colors these aren't they I'm quite pleased with those there we go that's going to go there. Now, can you see I've got that little tiny smidge of ink there? Now, what you need for that, and I'm hoping it's going to work as I'm going to demonstrate it, is a Tombow sand and rubber eraser. So this is a sand and rubber eraser that has a sand eraser at one end and a normal eraser at the other. And if you rub, if you've just got a little slight um, ink smudge, you can just rub the sand eraser over it. Try not to rub out the the ribbon and it should it's a bit tricky with melon mambo because that's such a, a really dark dye but if you rub over enough you should without destroying the paper surface which is one of the problems when you erase things there we go so these are available on amazon and you can get them that are both ends of sand razors if that's what you want. I quite find it useful that I have a little rubber on the end as well. But that's completely got rid of that little pink smudge there. Right, okay, now we need a backing for this. And again, I'm going to use Highland Heather. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, rather than measuring it, you could measure it and then work out where you want it, but I'm going to position it. So I've got these two sides of the borders are where they want. Back with my trusty Bic pencil. And I'm going to mark that's where I want it there and that's where I want it there and I find that method a lot quicker than measuring um, when you just mark put a little pencil mark and you can just pop it into your trimmer line your pencil mark up with the brown cutting ridge the valley trim there and there and I'm hoping this is going to be perfect for mounting my panel on go so it's been trying i'm taping this on sunday and it's been trying to snow here today i can't believe it a couple of weeks ago i was walking around in a t-shirt in um wisley gardens which is just up the road from us and now it's um now it's trying to snow excellent right just trim off that little corner go around get once again with my bone folder just to get rid of the lip that we've got from cutting that on the trimmer it's just my little idiosyncrasy that i haven't seen other people doing that but i just don't like having that little lip on it. It doesn't really make much difference if you stick the card down with the lip going downwards, but I'd just like to make doubly sure. Right, and that's gonna mount on there, like that. And then that's gonna mount on there, like that. So, a bit of Tombow. As you can see, my Tombow's ready to use. It's all down the bottom, in the, in the, the nib, and hasn't, gunged up because I've got it on that little bit of damp sponge not very not very wet don't make it very wet just a little bit of damp just to keep it so that the the glue starts keeps flowing right there we go and then oh, I'm wondering where my snips have gone now 
Lost a stamp and a pair of scissors today so far. I'm doing really well. Right, that's going to go on there. I think I will put these in my Etsy shop, actually, because I sell a lot of personalised cards in my Etsy shop, so I might be able to sell. I don't normally sell a lot of my Stampin' Up! makes. They're all their um, quilled cards that I sell, but I might just try putting these in there and then see what happens, see if everybody likes them as much as I do. There we go. Make sure you can use the paper to make sure you've got that straight. And then we just need to stick our three little parcels on top here. So we've got the Crystal Cabana. Which is gonna go there. Melon Mambo. going to go there and Highland Heather which is going to cover up my oops so that there and there we're done so that's that one and that's that one lovely cards I think I'm really pleased with those really like them really my style's so plain and simple but really give the message what you want lovely okay right okay i did do some stamping inside this one i did a little bit of the um dsp and then just one parcel i've got a little bit of the dsp i don't know if that's going to be long enough not quite long enough i don't know that i've got another piece of it lying around here did i use it all up was this all the only piece i had left hmm. oh there's a bit yay Right, so we could stick another little bit of DSP in there. Just going to trim a little bit off because it's got sort of like just a tiny smidgen of those dots, which just makes it look a bit odd. So I'm just going to pop it in my cutter. I have asked Stampin' Up whether they are going to bring back this mini trimmer because I think it's a really good product and I love it. Um, so I would love them to bring it back. So that all you guys could have one. They they did it as a joining offer one year, um, and then we haven't seen it again since. Right, that's not straight. It's always tricky trying to trim a tiny little bit off. Just try and get that straightened up. That's better. Right. Okay. So we need a little bit of. Could do it that way. Could do it that way. What do you reckon? Maybe that way on this one. We'll do it the long way. There we go. I do I do try and plan these projects, but I do sometimes make things up as I go along, um, which is all the basis of creativity, really. I did search Pinterest. There's not an awful lot of cards made with. If you search Family Party, if you normally search one of the names of the Stampinets, Stampin' Up! stamp sets, you normally get hundreds and hundreds of images, but there's not an awful lot made with this set have to say I did get a little bit of inspiration but nothing major really there we go so we've got a little bit of, of that and then should we just do one little parcel down here we'll do it in we'll do it in coastal cabana because I don't think we've used very much of that so let's just make sure these stamps are clean now I've got a load of junk on my desk, so it's really difficult to get my stamping scrub out. It's very difficult to tell whether these stamps are clean now because I've used Melon Mambo. They've dyed pink, which doesn't affect the stamps at all. It just means they're not as clear as they were. Right, okay, so just full strength, dots and ribbon. And then let's remember to stamp this one off. Coastal Cabana, scrap paper stamp off. And then, there we go. And that is done. Right, thank you so much for joining me today. Hope you've enjoyed my video. Hope you've enjoyed watching my, my tutorial. Hope you'll give it a go yourself. Um, like I say, this stamp set won't be around forever. So if you'd like a set of it, then don't hang around. 
Um, all the products I've used will be listed under here and you can just click on the links and go through to any of them. And if they don't appear, that means they're now out of stock. So you've missed them, I'm afraid, um, because they will be retiring. Apart from things like the stamp pads and things should still be in stock and they're still in the new catalogue. So you, even if they're out of stock, they should eventually come. Anyway, that's it for me today. Enough rambling. Thanks for watching me today. Hope you have a lovely day and I will be back very, very soon. Bye for now. Bye.